are looking at an example of the right of use of a motor vehicle. So this is a motor vehicle that the employee gets to use and it's provided by an employer. So X received the right to use a company four-seater car from his employer from 1 May 2022. And the employer acquired the four-seater car on 1 March 2020. So there you will see it's been purchased by the employer just more than two years ago. So this employee X can then claim a reduction on the determined value of 15% per annum on the reducing balance method because there were two completed periods of 12 months that have lapsed since the car was purchased and he got the use of the vehicle. And the cost was 350,000 Rand excluding VAT so that must be added to the 350,000 Rand. So it's always, or most of the times, it's including of that. The cost didn't include a maintenance plan and X pays 300 Rand per month for the right of the use of this vehicle and is responsible for all petrol and maintenance costs and the petrol costs him 18,000 Rand and maintenance costs were 25,000 Rand for the 2023 year of assessment during which he used the vehicle. And X kept an accurate logbook and traveled a total of 30,000 kilometers of which 10,000 kilometers was private. So if an accurate logbook is not kept, there will be no deductions allowed against the use of this motor vehicle. So it's very important that a logbook must always be kept. Now we will look at the calculation of the taxable fringe benefit or the cash equivalent for the use of an employer-owned vehicle. So the value of the private use is taxed but there can be certain reductions which will be deducted and also amounts paid by the employee if an accurate logbook was kept. We have a calculation of the value for private use formula of an employer owned vehicle. So it's the determined value multiplied by 3.25% if there is a maintenance plan or 3.5% if there is no maintenance plan. And it's per month times the number of months that it was used during the year of assessment by the employee. Now the retail market value, the cash cost of the vehicle and usually including that is the determined value if the employer could not claim the VAT, but it excludes finance charges and interest. Like I said before, it can be reduced the value by 15% per month on the reducing balance method for each completed period of 12 months that passed after the employee acquired the vehicle before giving it to the employee to use. So the calculation then is 350,000 Rand and we have to add the 15% VAT so we multiply it by 1.15 and that gives us 402,500 Rand. Then the short method of reducing it with 15% is multiplying it by 85% and that's for the first year from 1 March 2020 to 2021. 12 months and then again by 85% and that's from 1 March 22, I mean from 1 March 2021 to 1 March 2022. So that's the other 85% and then from 1 March 22 to 1 May 22 was only two months so there's no further reduction. 
And that gives us an amount of 290,806, which is the determined value. And then that must be multiplied by the 3.5% there was no maintenance plan and times 10 months the period he had the use of it for and that gives us 101,782 rand and that's the total value of the private use before any reductions so that the value of private use that was calculated as 101,782 rand for private use must now further be reduced by any reductions or any amounts paid by the employee. Now we're looking at the calculation of the reductions. The first reduction is the value of business mileage divided by total mileage. The second reduction is the maintenance costs actually incurred or paid by the employee multiplied by the private mileage divided by the total mileage. And the third reduction is the deemed fuel rate according to the cost scales or the deemed cost tables multiplied by private mileage. For the first reduction, the fringe benefit value was calculated as 101,782 and that multiplied by the business kilometers of 20,000 and then divided by the total kilometers of 30,000 gives us a reduction of 67,855 and the maintenance of 25,000 for the second reduction that's multiplied by the private mileage of 10,000 and divided by the total kilometers of 30,000 and that gives us an amount of 8,333 reduction for maintenance and for the deem fuel rate you'll have to go look at the deem cost tables to determine the fuel cost that applies so the deem cost tables are used and we've calculated the determined value as 290,806. That was after adding value added tax of 15% and reducing the value for, by 15% for two years, we got to this figure. Then we have to go look where it lies on that table, in which bracket it lies there between 285,000 and 380,000 Rand. So the fuel cost there is 171.8 cents. If converted to Rand, then it's 1 Rand and 0.718, which we will then be using. We're carrying on with the reductions. We've done reduction 1 and for the business use and reduction 2 for the maintenance. Now reduction 3 for the fuel. So it's the deemed fuel rate, which we looked up as 171.8 cents. That we must divide by 100 in order to convert it to Rand times 10,000 kilometers for private use. And that gives us a total of 17,180 Rand. So now we look at the calculation of the taxable fringe benefit. So the value of private use, that's 100% private use, was calculated as 101,782 Rand. And the reductions that we calculated, the first one for the business mileage traveled was 67,855. And then for the maintenance it was private use for the maintenance was 8,333 Rand. And then the fuel, the private use for the fuel was 17,180 Rand. So that will be deducted. And then the employee also paid 300 Rand a month towards the use of the employer vehicle. So it's 300 Rand times 10 months. So that's a further reduction of 3,000 Rand. And then the taxable benefit that's included is the 101,782 Rand less 
the reductions 1, 2, and 3 in total is 93,368 Rand, less the 3,000 Rand that the employee paid, and that gives a taxable amount of 5,000. 